My name is Alinka Angelova, and I am an aspiring writer, director, producer from Barrie, Ontario in Canada. Now, I'm not famous by any means. I'm not really known outside of Barrie. Maybe a few people, selected people, know me in Toronto. But um, I do write and direct and produce my own original musicals. Um, I'll just let you know that, okay, I've never done this before. I I'm sure a lot of people say that, but I honestly never really done this before. Anyone who knows me knows that I have wicked anxiety uh, talking, wicked anxiety talking to the public, like talking in a, a public presentation, an interview, um, anything like that, anything on video or camera or put be put on the spot or anything like that. I'm, I'm extremely like nervous about that. I don't know why, because if I'm performing on stage, I'm in my element. Like I can do that. Hands down. I can perform. I can sing. I can dance all of that with confidence. Um, but when it comes to public speaking, I'm just terrible at it. So please bear with me. Um, throughout this, throughout these videos, I may, I will edit because I make a lot of mistakes when I'm talking and I'm very, I'm a little bit nervous about that. And I'm not generally a nervous person by any means. It's just when I get on camera or when I'm sitting in a public setting where I have to speak from my heart or I just, anyways, let's get down to it. So. We are here, as you know, because I want to document my journey to Broadway. I know I'm not there yet. I don't know when I'll be there, but I do believe that I will get there. It has been 25 years since I started trying to get to Broadway. And for those of you who don't know what Broadway is, well, it's where um, you go and watch shows like The Lion King or Hairspray or Wicked, like people that create shows like that. I create shows like that. I create shows on the same caliber as that. Like it, it's, I, I'm not trying to, how do I explain it? I'm very unknown and I haven't really been given the opportunity to present my work in front of um, influential people or somebody that can truly help or invest in my project. But I do have shows that can match those levels for sure. And, I, and I'm and i not saying that because I'm trying to make myself like, like I'm, I'm into myself or I'm, how do I say it? I'm not trying to boast or anything like that. I'm just being honest about my natural talent. And it's something that I know I have. I, I've seen other shows. I've, it's something that I was actually born with, that I can actually write. Not only can I write, I can direct. And not only can I direct, I can, I can choreograph, I can, I can write songs, scripts, you name it. And the best thing about it is that they're original. They're not like, when you see my work, there's no copycat in there. It, it's, they're completely original. And I just wish that I could just get the chance to let the world see what I have to offer. But of course, <laughs> even when I try to contact um, people that could be a, of influence or help me get to where, I, they, they never want to even hear from me. I mean, I don't have the connections that other people have or that some people have in this industry. So it has been very hard for me. People that have seen my work, I've tested it, and they rave about my work. They, they think it's incredible. And I'm and like, I mean, I have tested my, my productions with local audiences um, in Toronto, in the GTA, and in Barrie, Ontario. And I've always gotten amazing responses. So I'm not just talking from me. I'm speaking from um, what others think of my, my stuff. Like, I, I, it, it's really good stuff. But I feel like my clock is ticking. <laughs> and I, 
it's been 25 years and I'm just not getting the recognition that I think that the show, the shows, my shows deserve. So I'm just, I'm kind of just, I'm trying something new. I'm trying something new. And even though, you know, I said it's been 25 years, I still believe that my seat is there. I still believe that my shows are worthy and I'm just going to keep plugging at the same shows. Um, and I want to take you guys with me. So that's why I called it my journey to Broadway. You will be a witness to me making it. And I'm serious. Like, sometimes you just know that you know that you know. And I know that there have been like my supporters that have been there with me all this time for years they have been like supporting me and I'm sure they're probably thinking oh Alinka yeah her shows are great and everything but <laughs> she's not really going anywhere <laughs> but don't worry it'll come it'll come and I just want to let all my other all my supporters know that you're not supporting me for nothing I promise you I I, I believe that my shows will get to that next level and I'm going to take you all with me. So prepare to be here for the long haul. Um, I'm going to try my best to upload every single week. I, I, like I said, I, I'm, I've tried. Like I've done other things. Like I've done hair videos and stuff like that. And for some reason, I can never keep up with it. <laughs> that I give it to all those influencers or people that upload every week videos. Like I, I hand it to them. It's not easy. It's hard work to do that. Um, along with your regular day life, like I, I'm a mom of four. I, I, I own my little company called Infinity Arts Productions, IAPC Corp. And um, I have like under that umbrella of that that corporate company, I have another company called Infinity Performing Arts Studio. And with that, I offer programs to kids for musical theater, and we do shows. They come to classes every week. Um, so. Running that and trying to run a household with my four kids and my husband and doing other things and it, it, it it's going to get busy and it's going to be hard. But you know what? Even if I have to upload like a little a little video or something of me saying something for the day, I will do that just so you guys can see my journey and experience my journey with me. And also, like, I mean, there may be other people like that feel the same way as I do. There could be other people that are, that have an incredible talent that they write and direct and they do shows or maybe they do film, whatever they do. I'm hoping that maybe these episodes or these videos will help them too. And maybe you guys can give me some ideas on what I can do to get my shows up or to get them running. I'm hoping that, you know, any advice would be great because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm honestly tired. Like, I'm tired of trying. Sorry, my computer screen. I did this lighting because when I turned on the lights in my little office here at home, there was a light beaming in the middle. So I, I turned off the lights and I put on my computer screen. So I hope this is okay. But yeah, so... I'm just really tired uh, of trying and I'm just gonna, I mean, I keep plugging away, but I, I, I honestly feel like I'm going in circles. <laughs> I feel like I'm going in circles. So I'm trying something new. I'm trying two things. I'm doing this vlog and I'm uploading videos and I am, I took a leap of faith and my husband and I invested in a very expensive large theater in Toronto to do my show and oh my gosh <laughs> I, my husband he's nervous and I can't lie I'm a little nervous too but if it doesn't work <laughs> then we're probably gonna have to file bankruptcy <laughs> because we we're putting a lot into this and I'm taking like the ultimate risk of my life. 
I've been doing all my shows in all these small theaters, local theaters all the time. And, you know, I take a risk every time. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, I've never really even made even. Like, I've never made any kind of profit. Um, the only good thing that came out of these shows was I had a good product. I had a good show, so I have videos of it. Um, but for everyone watching, they may be surprised. They may think, oh, Linka is doing so well. She's, you know, making all this money and shit. But no, <laughs> I always put more than what I get into these shows. So I know it. you may think that if I've never really made like a profit or anything like that, why am I doing this? Why am I investing in this grand theater in Toronto, the Elgin Theater? Because I believe in my work. Sorry. Okay. Said I wouldn't do this. Okay. I really believe in my work. In the God-given talent that he's given me. Like, I honestly believe that... My work is like beyond, it's just as good as any other Broadway show out there. So I want to take a chance and I'm hoping, I want to take a chance and I am praying that somehow, some way, this time I will finally get to that next level that I've been trying to get to. Um... To a level where I could pack out that theater. I know it sounds impossible. The theater has 1,500 seats. I don't think I've ever fully packed out a theater. I think I did a school show once. And this theater had 600 seats. And we almost filled out that, those 600 seats, which was nice. But that was like one show out of so many in that series when I did those shows, some of the days I didn't I didn't pack up the theater. So it always ended up being break even. Not even well, no, not even break even. It's just always been a loss, really. Ultimately it's always been a loss. But this time, this time, I am believing in the impossible. Can you believe with me? I'm believing in the impossible. I am going to pack out a 1,500 seat theater called the Algen Theater in Toronto. I'm going to have six shows, and I'm I'm when I, when I pack it out, it won't be in vain. Like if I pack it out, the audience won't leave feeling like that was a waste of our money. No, they're gonna leave empowered and inspired by the production that I have to show them. They're not going to feel like it was a waste. And you will see, like, if you come to the show, I believe that you'll see it too. But anyways, it's a long time before we get there because it's all the way in February. <laughs> February 2025. But we have, we have a long way and I'm going to document every single... I'm going to document almost everything as much as I can. And if I don't document live, then I will come back and tell you all about it. I'm going to be 100% honest. I won't always, I know I will, I will never tell you names because I, you know, I just don't think I should do that. I won't always give you, how do I explain it? I'm a very optimistic person. So you're going to see that every challenge that I have, I don't think of it as a struggle. I think of it as a challenge because I can either, I can either, either take that challenge, I can think of it as a failure or I can think of it as a blessing. And I always try to choose blessing. You're going to see when I tell you my story, it's like nothing can keep me down because that's how much I believe in this. So please come and watch me every week. 
give me ideas, give me your thoughts. Even like, I don't know, talk about your life too. I don't know, tell me something. Come every week, come here every week, subscribe to this channel. Just be here with me every week. Come to the journey with me. Maybe you're on a journey too for whatever you're doing. I'm hoping that this will help anyone. Like, I mean, there are so many people in the world that have incredible ideas, incredible concepts, but they just can't seem to get to that next level. And we're going to figure out why. <laughs> and we're going to figure out how to overcome it. So thank you, everyone. I don't know if I said my name. My name is Alinka Angulova. I'm a writer and director, aspiring writer and director from Barrie, Ontario. And I want to take you on my journey to Broadway. So stay tuned. There are no boundaries. Oh.